Weebit Nano has just hit the $5 milestone mark, and many investors are wondering why. In 2022, we had a technology stock crash where those companies that were unprofitable and pre-revenue were hit the hardest. Yet WBT share price has continued pushing higher and higher. So today we're going to talk about some of those reasons why Weebit share price has been moving through the all-time high levels. But we'll also talk about some of those upcoming catalysts that investors are looking forward to in the year of 2023. But let's talk about the memory market first. Weebit Nano plays in the semiconductor space. As we know, semiconductors are at the core of just about everything that we do. The world is getting more and more digital from the laptops, computers, the cars we drive. All of these have semiconductors and all of these semiconductor chips have memory that help to facilitate and enable them. Flash memory is the incumbent technology. I'm sure everyone's familiar with the term of flash. However, as technologies get smaller and more complex, new emerging technologies and new forms of memory are going to be necessary to enable this. Our VRAM memory is one of those alternative solutions and Weebit Nano has developed their own Weebit VRAM. And so that's where they're currently playing. There's a few fascinating reasons why this technology is necessary. First and foremost, as the technologies get smaller, the geometries get smaller, flash memory is inefficient at the smaller technologies. VRAM has been proven to be efficient below 40 nanometers at 28 nanometers and there's continued testing as well to see it scale below that. But there's also another, a number of other key reasons as well on the VRAM front. So Weebit's VRAM claims to be 100 times 100 times 100. That's 100 times better endurance than flash, 100 times more energy efficient, and 100 times faster than flash. And along with that, Weebit's VRAM is also relatively more easier to tool compared to some of the other emerging memory technologies. Over the past few weeks, as WBT share prices continued pushing higher and higher, a number of people have been messaging me asking why this is happening and if we can cover it in a video. So here it is. If you want to stay connected and stay in touch, we are providing daily pieces of news and content over on the Instagram. We've just released it. There'll be a pinned comment at the top of this video, so come and say g'day. But a few different reasons why Weebit's share price has potentially been soaring higher. Reason number one has to do with their commercial partnership with Skywater and the fact that it's nearing towards commercialization and volume production of VRAM. So to understand that, Weebit's first technology transfer was to Skywater. Obviously, it's a complicated process, but the first one is the most important and it really opens up the pathway moving forward for other agreements. What's critical is Weebit's undergoing the qualification process with Skywater at the moment and looking to complete that through 2023. And the technology is nearing commercialization. It's at an advanced enough stage now where on the Skywater website, they've mentioned Weebit's VRAM as a partner and it means that they can start to offer this to potential customers of Skywater as a solution for their technologies that they're looking to develop out. Skywater has also been established to play a critical role in the United States semiconductor space. They've got a significant customer list which could be potential customers of Weebit moving forward once volume production gets underway. Reason number two has to do with further fab agreements that might be on the horizon. Of course, to understand the semiconductor space, you can have agreements on two different dimensions, either with the fabs, which are the manufacturing facilities, or directly with customers who are going to be developing their products. If you're thinking about fabs, obviously the first one is the most important. We talked about Skywater is that first cab off the rank. But what's fascinating is VRAM is an emerging memory technology that more and more customers are interested in considering, particularly as the technologies get more complex. Taiwan Semiconductor, the largest fab facility in the world, has announced that they have VRAM that's ready to be offered to customers. And it's also been reported that there's actually a chip in the iPhone 14, which contains VRAM, made from Taiwan Semiconductor. But if you think about the fact that all of these fabs have got customers that they want to be able to provide the best solutions and the best technologies for, obviously a lot of the other tier one fabs around the world would have sat up when TSMC made that announcement about their VRAM and started to consider what are the other companies out there that have got VRAM near commercialization that we potentially could consider partnering with. This is obviously where a company like Weebit Nano gets into consideration and contention. And it's why there's a lot of potential discussions. On Weebit's timeline for 2023, they've got a focus on signing a deal with a tier one fab, which is gonna be very interesting to see how that changes the perception moving forward. But obviously as you sign one fab, as it's been talked about before in the semiconductor space, it's almost like a snowball. It adds further validation. Obviously you're able to see your technology get into further products and other companies and competitors out there don't wanna be missing out. So if one company in the space gets it, then others will potentially look to adopt or at least consider the technologies that are out there. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you've subscribed and hit the like button. It goes without saying, I'm obviously not a financial advisor and nothing we discuss is financial advice. Hopefully, however, these videos are an interesting starting spot for you to do your own research from. And then on to the third point. 
It's on the customer dimension. We talked about the fabs. Fabs obviously are looking to get the best technology so that they're able to provide potential solutions onto their customers for their products. However, customers as well can have direct agreements made with them. We bit have discussed the fact that they're looking to sign their first customer and often they've talked about it as a chicken and egg scenario. It's hard to sign either a fab first without a customer or a customer first without a fab to be able to manufacture. But once you get one, then that snowball starts ticking over and it looks like 2023 will be the year where we bit are able to announce this and that's what they've got on their timeline and the calendar. And it's why there's excitement that's starting to build up as they move towards that commercialization. And just to help conceptualize the end use cases, as we talked about at the top of the video, just about every device as the world gets more and more integrated will need memory. Whether it's your phone and laptop, whether it's your car, as the internet of things technology ramps up and more of our devices are integrated around the home and outside of it, all of these will need memory at the core, the sensors around us as well. And WeeBits ReRAM is a potential solution as an emerging memory technology in a world that's gonna become more and more digitally integrated. And then on the fourth front, it's the team. Whether it's Webit Nano's board, which at a strategic lens has got a wealth of experience from across the semiconductor space, or their management team as well, who have got a significant amount of years of experience. They have done a lot of work in the memory field. If you look down the list, it's often been discussed that Webit Nano have assembled an Avengers-like board, particularly for a sub $1 billion market cap level. And so some reflections from ASXWBT's most recent move, but also reflections from following the journey over the past few years. As mentioned, if you want to continue some of these discussions, we're now on Instagram, so come and say good day there. The first one is really about the state of the move. It looks like much more of a measured move. It doesn't have that high volume exuberance and hype in it yet. It'll be fascinating to see where it heads from here, but it does look like more of a measured move. And it's also worth reflecting as well that you, sometimes you need to be patient. In the semiconductor space, but the broader technology space, these things take time. It often starts as a trickle with incremental developments. And then obviously, if success, if there's a Option, if there's a successful rollout, then you can start to see hockey sticking in terms of whether it's demand, attention, awareness, or just the general ramp up. It's also worth noting as well, what's really fascinating is a lot of the discussion today is centered around the embedded memory market. This is the first market that Webit Nano will be pursuing. But of course, a discrete memory market is a big piece of the pie as well for those who are familiar with it. We've done a range of different videos on the channel that you can check out if you want more of an insight. And the final reflection comes from the company Webit Nano itself. For those familiar with Webit Nano, their former tagline was Webit Nano, the future memory. But now Webit Nano have changed their tagline to Webit Nano, the next non-volatile memory is here. Of course, Webit Nano is nearing volume production for their re-ram, but it also speaks to the fact that prospective customers are identifying the need and opportunity for new emerging memory technologies to serve as part of their solutions. You can check out some more of our videos on the channel up above. Drop in a comment, I'd love to know your thoughts. And a big congratulations to those Webit Nano holders who have followed through the journey. Thank you for joining us for now. Stay well and happy investing.